Леди и джентльмены, Старда с гордостью представляет мисс Номи Малоун. Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm recreating the fabulous Nomi Malone from Showgirls for a Halloween inspiration video. I drew inspiration from all of these photos that are taken from the movie, as well as this illustration by the fabulous Hayden Williams. Without further ado, let's get started. First things first, I'm moisturizing the skin with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I've been really enjoying this moisturizer. I use it pretty much every single day. And for this look, I had to pop on some Nomi-centric nails because that was totally part of her character in the movie. For a foundation, I'm going in with my trusty dusty L'Oreal Pro Glow in the shade 207. I'm applying a little bit with my finger, mainly just on my more pigmented areas, and then I go ahead and blend this out with a nice fluffy brush. So somewhere along the line, I must have cut myself with these very sharp nails and it actually broke the skin and was kind of intense, but the show must go on. Showbiz baby, that's, what would Nomi do? She wouldn't stop. Um, so here I'm just applying some concealer from Hourglass in the shade O and again, just kind of carefully blending this out with my finger now that I have a wound on my face. Also, you guys, this hair took so long. It was such a process. And, you know, it didn't come out amazing, but my expectations weren't that high because I've never worked with um, lace frontals before. Thankfully, the glitter as part of Noe's hair worked out for me because it was able to hide the hairline a little bit. And, you know, we were looking real George Washington in the beginning, but it came together okay. And I didn't film that part because I didn't want to get red for filth because it's something I've never done before and I don't think it's, you know, something I'm good at. But I'm down to keep practicing and get better because how fun is it to just change your hair color without having to dye it? Next, I'm just blending out that concealer with the same brush I used for the foundation and just kind of blending the edges where the concealer meets the foundation. I'm going right over my eyebrows because in this video, I'm gonna try and make my eyebrows look smaller. Back in the 90s, thin eyebrows were all the rage and Nomi's eyebrows were about the level of thickness of my eyebrows if I just slick them down. So I didn't have to do the full covering of the eyebrows and drawing on completely new ones. I just had to really tame my eyebrows and not let them look any bigger than they are. Using this Airspun translucent powder from the drugstore, I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face. This brand of powder just has such an old Hollywood feel. It's kind of thick and I don't recommend it for every day, but this just felt like what Nomi might use or what Vegas Showgirl might use. It has a strong scent and it has this like fluffy little puff and it just felt right so I just went with it. For brows, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pomade in the shade Dark Brown to create a fierce, defined brow that again is not too thick. Nomi's eyebrows had a clear, defined shape and were kind of sharp and pointy, but they were very thin, so I just tried to emulate that with my eyebrows. Next, I'm using my Got To Be Glued gel to 
slick these eyebrows down and really press them into this shape so that my natural hairs don't act up and look crazy. And yes, there will be perpetually a piece of glitter on my face because there is so much damn glitter in this hair, it is bound to fall off and land on my face throughout. So just get used to that. Going in with my Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette, I'm going in with this second to lightest shade and I'm starting to create that crease. Going in with the lightest shade, I'm first going to highlight my brow bone and then I'm going to put this color on the center of the lid to act as a contrast to the crease. Going in with a darker shade, I'm just intensifying this crease even more as well as winging it out for a cat eye effect. Going in with the Makeup by Mario Black Eyeliner, I'm just drawing a little baby wing and then blending it out using the brush that's on the other side of the pen. Going in with my liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild, I'm just going to intensify this wing and really lay down the base for where the rhinestones are going to go. Using my MAC Black Track Gel Eyeliner and a super tiny brush, I start working on these lower wings. In the look from Showgirls, Nomi had like three little baby wings coming out of her lower lash line for a total of four wings if you count the top one. So this is where the detail and the finesse comes in. So for the lower lash line wings, one is a continuation of the lower lash line eyeliner. One is coming directly out of the corner of the eye. And then one is white, which comes from the waterline, which you'll see in just a second here. But right now I'm really just trying to create the correct and accurate shape and blend it out a little bit. The last one can be sort of buffed and blended a little bit to kind of be like that lower lash line shadow effect, but the details come from these three lines. As you can see, I draw the line first to get the shape and the shape of the wing I want, and I know that this white line is supposed to be a continuation of this water line, so then I just work to connect the lines and try and take out that little curve there and give it more of like a swept up look. And now I just apply the rhinestones. So you're going to apply rhinestones to the very bottom black um, line under the eye as well as to the top wing as well. These are just some rhinestones I found on Amazon. I, they're not even all exactly the same. Some are smaller than others. Um, I just really tried to create the shape 
that is seen in the movie and um, do that with as similar as rhinestones as I could find. And to stick these on, I'm just dipping them in a little bit of eyelash glue, picking up with them up with a pair of tweezers, and then sticking them right on. Once I had the rhinestones on, I just went in with some mascara to make the lashes black again. They were kind of white from the cream that I used as eyeliner and I definitely didn't want that and I also wanted to prep them for lashes. So I'm going in with these Ardell lashes um, in the size 119 and this is just a start. These lashes complement the entire eye and then I'm going to add half of a really intense feathery lash that I found at the beauty supply store. This really kind of resembled the lashes in Hayden's illustration that I showed in the beginning that kind of like swept away glamorous, dramatic effect. Because at the end of the day, these are showgirls. They're performing on stage and their makeup needs to be seen all the way from the back of the audience. So just to reinforce my highlight, I'm going in with a light pressed powder and just applying this to the place that I highlighted with my concealer. Applying a little bit of bronzer in the shade Rich Amber by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm contouring these cheeks kind of dramatically, again, because this is stage makeup and it needs to be seen from far away if I'm actually Nomi and performing as one of the goddesses of stardust in Vegas. So I just kept that in mind throughout this entire tutorial. Next I'm going in with my very busted NARS blush in the shade Orgasm and I'm using this alongside the contour. So back then blush was pretty much how you would contour cheeks. So I'm really doing that as opposed to just like applying blush to the apples of my cheeks. And here comes the journey to find the correct lip shade. I'm starting off with the Ben Nye pencil in the shade 143 and using this to sort of draw the shape of the lips. Nomi's lips are always super full and round and juicy so I was really trying to emulate that with the shape of these lips. To neutralize it a bit, I'm going in with the shade Spice from Milani. This is just a little bit lighter than the other shade and it's going to create some dimension on my lips. For lipstick, I'm going in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Canes and then topping it off with a dose of colors Glittery Lip Gloss in the shade The Most. And I still wasn't quite a fan of the lip at this moment. Um, it just looked a little blow up doll for me. So I felt like, okay, here, let's add some more dimension so I don't look just like a red puffer fish. So I added Milani in the shade Lavish and I'm kind of feeling myself, but then I said, ah, I know what this needs. It needs eyeshadow. So I'm using the gold eyeshadow from the metallic palette by Makeup by Mario. And this is where I really feel like the look comes together. And voila, that is the final look, Miss Nomi Malone from the cult classic Showgirls. I hope you love this video and I can't wait to see you next time. Happy Halloween!